All right, so if there's one thing the internet can agree on, it's that if you own a knife, you should always baton with it. Okay, we know that's a lie, right? Oh, and you don't know what batoning is, huh? Well, batoning refers to the delicate art of making a complete stranger furious on the internet by turning on your camera and beating your knife with a piece of wood through another piece of wood or talking about it on an internet forum. Or, better yet, using a rock to baton. Okay, not a rock, that was a joke. You're like, come on, bro, use an axe. Knives are not made for batoning. They're made for throwing, or, you know, swallowing, moron. Knife maker Schrade understands as long as there are people who like knives that some of those people will use knives for chopping shrubberies, practicing slow motion defensive moves in front of a mirror, and splitting wood, because either they've never heard of an axe or just don't give a flying F. Which is why they make their Frontier Blades, a heavy duty line of survival knives that can stand up to any idiot on the internet making a YouTube knife review like this one. Or probably some real world survival stuff too. Unfortunately, this video will not feature any real world surviving. To see that, you're gonna have to look at some of the other authentic YouTube videos with people talking about survival to a camera, you know, if you're interested. Or you can just search for the word survivor to find those videos. The Frontier knives come in two sizes, the tiny SCHF 51 with a five inch blade and the seven inch SCHF 52. For those who think buying a machete is overkill, but a knife with a seven inch blade isn't. The only real difference between the SCHF 51 and SCHF 52 is primarily the blade size as the handle and blade spine are basically the same size on either. Both the SCHF 51 and SCHF 52 come in alternate versions with a micarta handle that have some slight ergonomic differences. Good news for people who'd like to know those differences, but bad news for people who like short knife reviews. I have all four here, which Schrade sent me for review. But before I begin to beat the crap out of the knives, let's go over some sizes and dimensions before the knives are no longer pretty. So you may want to take a nap or grab a beer. Here are the overall length and blade length for the 51 and 51M and the actual cutting edge. Note that they're both the same size. It's just the handles that are different. Now the total length, the blade length, and the cutting edge for the 52 and 52M, you know, also the same size. All four knives share a common size handle of about 14.7 centimeters or 5.7 inches. They vary within a millimeter or less of one another, so I don't really think that's important. Spine thickness runs about 5.25 millimeters with a variation of less than a millimeter, like a fraction of a millimeter between blades. But here's the weight of each knife with the sheath and the accessories and also just the blade if you plan on carrying it around in the forest with your teeth, you know, like an animal. Note that the 51 and the 52, the micarta versions are heavier than the TPE handle blades while the handle is almost identical in size on all four knives like within fractions of an inch, remember? Also the finger choils, is that how you say it? Are elongated on both versions of the 52. All four knives come with the same accessories. With each one you get a sweet polyester sheath, a sharpening plate, and ferro rod with striking steel, some silica gel, and a bag of glitter. Okay, that last one was a joke. The sheath on each knife has pockets for the sharpening plate and ferro rod. And in case you weren't paying attention, the sheath for the 51s are shorter than the 52s to account for the shorter blade length, although the construction is pretty much the same. The addition of the ferro rod and sharpener are great uh, additions for those people who can maintain a consistent angle while sharpening freehand or start a fire using only what they find lying around or process with the knife, which I can totally do, you know, but um, I'll just have to show you that in another video. Yeah, I mean, why, did somebody tell you otherwise? I mean, who have you been talking to? I can do those. I just, you know, I just don't feel like it right now. So just lay off, okay? Anyway, the blade of all four knives are coated in what can best be described as a non-stick Teflon type coating that's fairly smooth to the touch. Schrade said the prior Frontier knives had a thicker coat of something on it, so it was more of a drag when batoning, or gave it more drag, or something about batoning and drag. I'm sorry, I wasn't really paying attention when I read that. So they fixed it because people on the internet complained. Yes, sometimes that does happen. The coating protects the entire knife, including the tang, because it's made from 1095 carbon steel, which is durable, but can rust if it's not properly cared for or you store your knives in buckets of rainwater. 
Removing the handle scales not only adds time to the video, but shows the Tang is a solid piece of steel, meaning it's you know got a little bit of heft in the back end, which some people like and you know some people don't, but most people like, right? So you can get the SCHF 51 and 52 with either the TPE or Micarta handles. <clears throat> Pardon me, Micarta handles. The M in the model number denotes the Micarta version. Is it Micarta, Micarta, whatever? Google told me TPE is a rubber synthetic thermoplastic, so it feels like a medium hard rubber. Removing the handles from the TPE version, you'll see there are four extra holes to keep them in place. So there's a tiny bit of weight saved on the tang, which helps account for the slightly heavier Micarta hangle, hangle, handle versions of both knives. Anyway, how about some abuse? That's what you came here for, right? Not just to hear me make stupid jokes. And as I'm beating the crap out of some wood, I'll keep talking. Cool, right? These knives are pretty solid and durable, as you can see. They're meant to be heavy and take a beating. Schrade even has videos on their YouTube page using this knife to baton. So please don't send me your angry letters. You know, send them to Schrade. If you're going to baton with them, which I mean, really, that's sort of what it's built for, right? Expect the coating to wear off the blade much quicker. Unless you used your third wish from that magic lamp you found for something stupid, then it'll stay on forever. All right, so let's talk handles for a second, or maybe a minute or a few. Depends on if the beer kicks in. The TPE gives you more grip as a handle, but I prefer the looks of the Micarta. The prior models of the Frontier had jimping on the under part of the handle, which is kind of weird, but they got rid of it because of complaints. While I never use those knives, I do have a pretty good imagination as to what it felt like. I don't want to brag though. The jimping on the TPE versions, or the SCHF 51 and SCHF 52, isn't recessed like the Micarta handle variants, so if jimping bothers you when you carve, or just in general, maybe stick with the Micarta handles, right? Just something to be aware of if you love or hate jimping. It's not really my decision now, is it? The handles are quite large and my hand fits in them with a little bit of room to spare. When batoning, the jimping didn't touch my hand on the TPE versions because of the way I held the blade. So in case you can't tell, these are not intricate wood carving knives. They're made to hack limbs and cut up shrubberies, you know, of course, after first finding that shrubbery. They aren't light, but they're not as heavy as my S-Wing, Sportsman's Axe, or my Kukri Blade, you know, or a chainsaw, right? I'd say if you're looking to primarily hack apart helpless trees, like they said something about your paw, go with the SCHF 52 with the longer blade so you can baton through larger pieces of wood. If you'd like something for hunting or dressing game, or like a general purpose outdoor knives, or making, I don't know, sharp sticks, but still batonable for smaller pieces of wood, the five inch is better. Or if you just like to hack down the mightiest tree in the forest, you might try using a herring. During my batoning sessions, I found no blade chipping, edge rolling, or anything of the sort. The blades held up awesome. All blades had similar amounts of beatings applied, and all performed very well. If there was one part I'd like to see improved, it'd probably be the sheaths. I didn't say sheeps, I said sheaths. They don't come with sheeps, just by the way. They aren't bad, but they don't scream high quality like the blades do. Anyway, if you like this review and want to see more outdoor gear reviews, like knives, flashlights, headlamps, or I don't know, whatever I decide to review next. Subscribe, browse my channel for more videos and reviews just like this, and feel free to comment on the videos and hit me up with any questions. Thanks for watching.